Welcome back to Just Blazer Programming. Today we're going to be working on Maui.net. Now, if you don't know what Maui.net is, maybe you know what Xamarin is. If you don't know what that is, this is basically the shittier version of Maui. <laughs> well, it is, but what it really is is actually Microsoft's answer to native application programming. So if you want to build on a mobile, uh, let's say if you had a React, you would use React Native to build on a mobile for applications like uh, for Android or for iOS. And if you had an Angular program, you would use Ionic to do something like that. But in this case, the answer Microsoft has given is Maui.net or Xamarin, as it was known before a long time ago. And Xamarin was garbage. It was the equivalent of what Razor is today in terms of uh, processing. It was very bloated, very annoying to work with, and just uh, garbage all around. So Maui.net is supposed to be the new and improved version of that and to be a lot faster and this one and this time we're going to be using Maui.net with blazer components so you know it matches the theme of my channel obviously and in this case because the blazer components still use bootstrap.js i didn't like that look and feel and i want to begin there i want to change that look and feel to something a little bit nicer now some of you in the comments at least one of you did said that you wanted to add maybe fluent styling maybe i'll get there one day but honestly i don't like the microsoft styles which is what fluent is I don't know what it is. I just like a uh, material design a lot more. I think it's just a lot nicer to look at. And that is what we'll be doing this video on. Maui.net with Mud Blazer. So let's get started by first showing you what we're gonna, the final product's gonna look like. So take that off, take that here, perfect. And I have my emulator running right now. This is the final product that we're gonna be working on. This is an the Android emulator working with material design basically. So this is Mud Blazer already attached to it. So this is all Mud Blazer stuff. It's just very just the easiest I could do. And I just added a bunch of stuff to the, like the beginning of the page. So as you can see here, if you want to center it, you're going to have to go out of way to do that yourself, but it mostly works. In fact, if we even click this button here, it will, uh, yeah, it will actually go to a Google page on the actual Android. So everything kind of works. There's nothing here that goes, there's no link to it, but you know what I'm saying? And then obviously you have the buttons all done in material design. And I think it looks nice. So let's see how we do this. I'm just gonna stop this. So the first things we gotta do is we're gonna get the Visual Studio 2022 preview. If you don't have that, get it first. So we're just gonna activate this and I made a video about how to install Maui. Uh, it's just that it didn't work for me the first time because I had issues with the emulator. And if you run into issues with the emulator trying to do this, I have a video just for that. Hopefully we'll have it here. So in case you run into a problem, we'll be creating a new project. And then right here, .NET Maui Blazor app. We're going to call this uh, with Blazor. That's fine. You don't get many options here. This is not like the whole Blazor server, Blazor web app stuff. This is fairly straightforward. So now we have our Maui project already here. Now the first thing I want you to do, because I have to do this on my computer, and this will probably save you some problems, is if you don't already have this, go to where it says Android, go to tools, Android, and then Android device manager. And if this is your first time running this, you probably don't have the emulators ready to go. So you just need to download them. The one that's going to give you by default is going to be the Pixel 5. Just use that. It's just fine. And then when you're done with that, uh, change the name so that you remove all this garbage here. It looks like this. And then press start on it. This will not affect your, your um, you know, you not affect your build or anything. It's just, uh, it's just to have it here right now. Um for later because for me i need to activate this first before i run this and if any of you are having issues that's i think the main problem so when you're done with that make sure you assign it with this we're not going to be working on ios stuff uh right here i don't have any of the ios emulators so i'm just going to be doing it with android the process will be the same most likely i guess the issue will be actually getting the emulator to work on your computer but i don't know that so we go back to the site and we go to where it says getting started. You'll see the installation steps. You do not need to follow these for this step. You could use the adding the .NET package installation yourself. And then everything else is the same. 
So you'll be basically following everything except these top two parts. And if you want to, you can go do the NuGet. Uh, you get it as a NuGet package instead of doing it this way, which is what I'm going to do here because, you know, I like easy peasy things and, you know, whatever is easy is the best for me. So we're just going to add this in through here. So we're going to browse. Please work. Grab the one that says 6.0.10 as of today. Install that. Press OK. I accept. And are we done? Almost done. And I believe we are. So once that happens, just uh, clean the solution. And now we must begin following all the steps that uh, comes after adding the um, those packages in. So we're going to add the mud blazer to our imports. We go to where it says ports here. And we're going to add mud blazer here. This is the first step. After that, we go to our Maui program. And we're going to be adding mud blazer up here as well. Mud laser dot services because we're going to need to add it as a service here. Basically, anytime you have like a package like this, you're going to have to add it down here as a service. It is what it is. Services dot. Mod. A. See what this said. Mod Blazer service. This. So now we have that in our program file. We have to start adding the components everywhere else that we need to add them to. So in order to get what I got going on my other emulator that you know, I stopped running, I had to do a number of changes, including changes to the nav menu. And then in order to show you like all the buttons and stuff, I changed the actual home. But in order to do all that, second a lot of copy and pasting that I got to do first. So the first first thing is we go to the main dot razor. This has to change to the way that oh not this has to change. This is fine. Leave that there. We have to add three components to here. These are the mud blazer stuff. So this is actually in the in here. You got to add these components to the main layout whatever that is. Here we is our main dot razor layout. So make sure to add the three components, mod theme provider, mod dialogue provider, and mod snack provider. In case you feel like working on it some more, we're not going to be using these two in this example, I believe. And it's just going to be really the mod theme that's important for us, but adding all three just prevents problems. So that's what I do. Next step, we are going to go to our main layout. The main layout is actually the, the way it looks, the theme itself. Layout. We're going to be removing this. So, what I like to do is just do that in case I make a mistake. And then you're going to get all of this from the actual site itself. So, what I'm copying is just what's already there when it comes to the theme. So, this is the mud layout. So, when you go to the installation here, and you go to layouts, you'll find this in the basic layout page. I believe the one I'm using is this one here. Yeah, this is the one I'm using. So you just copy paste that. There's nothing different here than, than this. So once you're done with that, we can move on to the next step, which is the nav menu. Nav menu needs to change because the nav menu right now works like the bootstrap version of it, the normal uh, blazer version of it. And what I wanted to do is work like the mud blazer version. So the mud blazer is a bit different, but it's also pretty easy. So you can get rid of all of this. Go down here. 
and add this. So all you're doing is adding the mud nav menu and adding the mud nav links in there, making sure that it matches the links that you have here. So the only difference is that in this case, you add the backslashes to it, but it's basically the same thing. So all that that is being done up here is being done within these component, this component here. And then you obviously have to add your nav links here. So it's fine if you just do this and that'll give you about the same result as the ones that you get from doing all that instead. Here's why my laser is actually kind of nice. And I don't believe we need this no more. We leave that. Okay, perfect. And then finally, I want to replace the index. Now you don't have to do this, but I want to because this is going to be the first page that you encounter. So this is the original index page. Keep this page URI, but you don't need any of this anymore. You can keep the hello world or whatever, but we're going to have our own version of it. So don't be scared by what I'm about to do now. I mean, it will look like a big chunk of code, but really all I'm doing is adding random stuff I found on the Mudflanger site. So what I did is I went and found like a few things in here. This is like one of the first Hello World things that is actually on the Mud Blazer uh, template itself. So this was on the template, only this piece right here. These other pieces are actually the Mud buttons that you can get from the Mud Blazer stuff. So you went to uh, Docs and you go to Components and then you go to Buttons. There's buttons here, I went here. It, that's all the buttons that you saw. So these are the primary buttons. And then I went to, oh, here, down here. So I added all these, I just copied pasted them all into this. So just to show you just how easy it is to actually add Mud Blazer into it. Like that's all you have to do. Once you have the packages, you can just start using the components easy peasy. And then it will be available for you in your emulator. So my emulator is running. Whoops, I actually missed a very important step and that is actually adding all the style sheets and the JS that Mudblazer requires you to have in order to make it work. So in order to find where you need to add it is actually in the index.html within the www root file. So here we're gonna add what uh, Mudblazer says to add in those places. So in order to add all that, this font stuff and that where all the link stuff is, or all the style sheet stuff is here. And I'm keeping the bootstraps up because uh, we still have bootstrap in there. So it doesn't just break everything. And uh, yeah, so make sure you don't remove that until you, you do the full conversion. And then finally, we're going to add the JS for the Mud Blazer, which is this one right here. The Mud Blazer uh, JS script. So weird that it does that. So now we have everything here. Now I'm going to run it again and I'm going to stop recording until this loads up because it takes a while to load, unfortunately. Oh, perfect. Didn't take that long in IRL. So here we go. This is everything we've done so far. We've, uh, re what we've done is that uh, we've replaced the nav menu. We replaced whatever the index was with, uh, just random stuff from the mud blazer site. And, uh, as you can see, this is still left with the bootstrap stuff here. So this is all bootstrap left and it all still works. We didn't remove any of the bootstrap JS or whatever. So it all is like just bootstrap. But the only thing that is actually Mud Blazer related is here because these are actually using the Mud Blazer components along with the nav menu. Thanks to Blazer and adding that to Maui as the, uh, the front end basically, you can do a lot with this. You could do a web application and then imp try to get all the mud blazer, I'm not the mud blazer, you can get all the blazer components, regardless whether it's mud blazer or the normal blazer stuff. You can move them around, you could use them in, Ma not in Maui, and um, apply that, those themes and stuff that you've already created into it. Of course, the back end might be a little bit different because it is gonna work a little bit differently than what you have if you're working with like, a, with WebAssembly or something. But you have your front end there. And if you already built it, Fantastic. It's already good to go for you. And if it's just like a bunch of these buttons and stuff that, you know, maybe they call it to an API or whatever, then you're basically halfway done. All you have to do is just import everything you need here. And then maybe a little bit of styling, you know, maybe center this a little bit more, make the buttons, you know, 
just feel your way through it because this is, uh, web, this is mobile development, so it's going to be a little bit different than web app development. Um, but, you know, it's a lot of work already done for you, especially if you're working in Blazor. So that's why I wanted to do this. Um, I also have the Mud Blazor video they should check out the that um that I made before if you are interested in Mud Blazor normal. And if not, then you know we'll continue on the Maui stuff. If you like Maui stuff, please let me know. Put a like and a subscribe there, a uh, comment there, do what you gotta do to make sure that you let me know that you want more Maui content or whatever. Because this is really, really simple. We could go even more in depth by adding, you know, actually hooking up components and stuff to the Android uh native um controls and stuff. If you want to do that, that is. Anyways, I'm going to see you later. Bye-bye, everybody.